Um, the fungus are the decomposers of the world. They grow in a wide range of habitats and can survive intense UV and cosmic radiation. They can survive space travel. The reason we live, maybe because of fungus, fungal spores that traveled through space, landed on our planet, and were able to create and sustain life. We could have language and art and communication and creativity because early hominids ate psilocybin. Fungus is among us. It is part of our human thread. It is our liberty to consume psilocybin. Side note. <laughs> But it's so important. Seriously, fungus is like that in-between plant, in-between animal. It exhales CO2. We exhale CO2. Plants don't. They exhale oxygen. So fungus is actually more closely related to us than a plant is. It's very interesting. We have a cosmic relationship with fungus and it is super important. Like I said, 90% of your phosphorus can be harnessed from the earth through a nice mycelial network. We understand that mycelium is the, the web of connection. And although fungus is slow to grow, it can move vast distances. One fungus can cover the entire forest floor. Whereas a bacteria, it moves super fast, but it has a very short area that it can move to. Fungus, when it starts growing, this mycelial web will convey information from one end of the forest to the next. Hey, yo, pine bark beetles are coming in. It can send it all the way across the forest and tell these trees, hey, maybe I need to produce this kind of terpene because these insects are coming in. Oh, there's a little bit of a drought over here. I'm going to send water. They can actually send water and nutrients through this mycelial web.